Turning now to our other big story of the night, the plan to give every student in Ohio the option to go to private school. It is called the Backpack Scholarship Program, and as Cassie Arsenault found, this proposal is a very polarizing one. Cassie? Paula, this bill could cause a major shift in education policy. It would create a true money follows the student approach rather than funding our public school system. Blame it on the fights over masking or bullying or a litany of topics that have made parents unhappy with school boards in the past year. The people behind House Bill 290 say school choice is more popular than ever. Uh, will it put more pressures on public schools? Probably. And will it you know, make them be more accountable? Uh, to parents than they are today, probably. State Representative Reardon McLean is one of the Republicans sponsoring the bill. The bill would allow parents to have the option to opt in to get either $5,500 for students in K through 8 or $7,500 for students grades 9 through 12. The money can be used to pay for things like private school tuition, homeschool supplies, after school care, or advanced placement testing fees. This is a direct attack on funding our public schools. Jeff Wensing of the Ohio Education Association says they just passed the fair school funding plan at the end of June, which has a direct line item to pay private school vouchers. 90% of the kids go to public schools in Ohio. So that's where our focus is. And William Phyllis of the Ohio Coalition for Equity and Adequacy of School Funding says many private schools are religiously affiliated. So this bends the line separating church and state. And some of these fringe groups to start a school and, and uh, you know, incite uh, uh, an insurrection. Representative McLean doesn't think this will blur any lines, yet the Ohio Christian Education Network helped craft the bill. What the bill is intended to accomplish is to um, uh, really empower parents. Representative McLean, with a background in business, says the world is changing, and to best serve our children, the system needs to evolve as well. Our public education system hasn't really been pushed to find all of the efficiencies that they could have. Now, the nonpartisan Legislative Service Commission hasn't put an official number yet on the bill, but supporters claim it won't have a massive impact on the state budget. About 215,000 kids are currently in private school in Ohio, and 69,000 of them use a voucher to cover at least part of their tuition.